Pastor Andre here to talk about one of the darkest sides of narcissism. It's a word that most people feel like they really know what it means, but do you really understand gaslighting? Gaslighting is possibly the most deadly, the most disturbing, and the darkest weapon that a narcissist can use against a victim. And it's one that personally, in my own experiences, was the most troubling because it not only shakes your reality, it's one of those things that makes you question everything because you can't imagine that somebody that purports to care about you so much would use such tactics against you. The first thing you need to know is that the narcissist themselves struggle from gaslighting. They gaslight themselves all the time. And this is why it's so easy for them to turn to this tactic without having remorse, or without feeling bad about it. They constantly live in a false reality. What they want and hope to be never does turn out that way because they're still stuck in the past. They're still stuck in trauma. They're still stuck in pain and hurt. So they are imagining that they are someplace that they are not but they don't want to do the work or they're not vulnerable enough to do the work to get to a better place. So they gaslight themselves into believing that they're a safe and credible partner. And even when they finally admit that what they're doing is wrong and that they don't deserve to be with the person based on their actions and tactics, they believe that the end somehow justifying the means and it's reasonable for them to have what it is that they want to have at whatever cost it takes. So gaslighting is a form of narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, where they make a conscious decision to distort reality, to misshape the truth, to remove facts, to alter things, to fit a paradigm and a storyline that they want to impose upon you. They want to take you for a proverbial ride so that you will embody the thoughts, sentiments, feelings and outlooks that they want to impose upon you. This is a necessary thing because the behaviors that they continue to have and the things that they say and do don't make sense in terms of why you would continue on. So they need to gaslight you to justify what they're not doing, what they are doing, why you're not receiving the care and the love and having your needs met. And just in general, to keep you off balance, to keep you unsure, to keep you in a place where you cannot understand what's really going on and they can remain in control. It's their ultimate goal to, if all else fails, pull this lever as the sun starts to set on their lies and their bad behaviors and you begin to question things. Their desperate need to continue to feed off of your supply while not giving what they need to give requires for them to use these sort of tactics. Catch me on the next one as we continue this topic.